welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anne and this is All the Budgeting. On this channel, I do paycheck cash stuffings, side hustle cash stuffings, cash condensings, and then I always close out my budget every month, which includes a net worth calculation. So if that is interesting to you, I do hope that you consider liking, subscribing, commenting, all of those things. Okay, so today I'm doing a cash condensing. I need to pull out some money to uh, bring to the bank, to put placeholders in, all of those things. So um, I do have a little cheat sheet here of the money that I'm pulling out and either just taking to the bank to use or putting um, placeholders in. So a lot of it is in this priority one. And so I'm gonna pull that first because that's gonna give me change to work with and then we'll go through um, all of the envelopes and condense. So the first thing is I need to pull out from extra debt because I am able to pay off one of my uh, 401k loans and so I need to put this money in the bank so that I can get a cashier's check and send that in. So the total that I need is 2885 so I already have 2000 in the bank, so we're going to put those place placeholders aside. So I need to pull 885 out of here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 50, 70, 85. Okay. And we'll just, uh, we'll come back and condense the rest once I get everything out. Extra week is also coming out because I have the next extra week fu uh, fully funded. And so for this, I'm going to add in placeholders. One, two, three. And then also in this one, home improvement has hit the $500 mark. There is currently $505 in here. And so um, I'm gonna put a $500 placeholder and just put this money in the bank. So this should be 500. One, two, three, four, 450, 70, 90, 500, yep. And so we're gonna put $500 placeholder. Okay, we'll come back to that. And then the last envelope I'm taking out of is I'm taking $165 out of subscriptions because um, I have my first subscription for 2025 funded, which is $165. So that's what we're gonna pull out. So 150, 65. And so I have the placeholder for that um, subscription right here. All right, so let's bring back priority one over here. Let's get this money sorted. I always love doing these videos. I love watching them. There's just something really satisfying about condensing these envelopes down, seeing the fruit of your labor <laughs> of saving all this money and taking it to the bank. All right, so we're all set here. Um, so emergency, I already know I'm not condensing this down at all. So health, let's see. Uh, so 380 is what I want here. So I have one, two, three. Actually, I can't condense that. It's already as far down as I can get it. So extra week, I just put in the placeholders, extra debt. Okay, so there should be, I forget what was, the, so 150, 70, 90, 210, 215. So I'm gonna put all this down for a $100 bill and a 10. And uh, in terms of this, the money for uh, going forward for extra debt, so I still have one more 401k loan. That one is about $8,000. Um, 
before I start putting aside towards that, I do want to actually put that extra money that I do have um, in each paycheck with the bulk of it coming out of my second paycheck. Um, I want to put that towards a couple of other things before I start putting it towards the 401k loan. So I have my nephew's wedding coming up this year in October and I figured across everything that I need for that, I'll probably need about $2,000. So I want to get that put aside. And then I also want to put aside for Christmas and holiday dinner. So once I do all that, then um, I'll start chipping away like I did for the other two 401k loans um, with the, with this extra debt envelope. Um, obviously with the 401k loan, there is still money that comes out of each paycheck to pay it down. So it's not like nothing is going to be paid towards that loan. I'm just not going to be saving any extra for a couple of months until I get all those other things taken care of. Um, <clears throat> and then I am going to be creating a wedding envelope with some dividers um, to kind of keep track of the various um, things that I'm saving up for for that. So, so, but we'll just leave it in this envelope for right now until I'm able to um, make those. Okay, home maintenance has 100. So we're gonna put this down for a $100 bill. Home improvement, we just did. We have that placeholder in there. So car maintenance, uh, we want 90, so I'm gonna put 20, uh, 220s and put this down for a 50. Pet care, I'm actually not gonna touch. It currently has 185. Um, actually, I have to take my cat to the vet on Saturday um, in two days and um, for his, just his, vaccine and regular checkup and it should actually be right around that amount so i'm just going to literally be taking it out to uh pay the vet so it seems worthless to condense it right now um okay electronics i don't know that i can condense this so it's 4 30 yeah it's already as condensed as it can be all right oh that's already thinner so priority two so obviously none of these early, uh, first ones get condensed. Subscriptions, I just added in that placeholder and then there was just two 20s left, so can't condense that. Let's see, vacation, I should have 200. So I have 150, yep, so I'll put this down for a $100 bill. Christmas, I want 205, so the five, 100, put this down for a $100 bill. And holiday dinner should be the same. Yep, 205, so like that. Put this down for a 100. And then um, gifts, so I have a couple of placeholders. And then um, for my mom, which is the last gift of the year, uh, I usually put $100 away for her. So I'm going to just put this down for a 50. And then once I get the 100, then I'll put that placeholder in. But for right now, we're just gonna leave it in cash. All right, so that does it for priority two. And then finally, priority three. Entertainment, I'm not gonna touch because I'm gonna be um, going out to dinner soon and using the money out of this, and so I don't wanna have a $100 bill. I'd rather have some smaller bills there. So close, um, I need 205. So this goes down for a... 100. Beauty. I 
has 45, so I'm just gonna put these two down for a 20. Miscellaneous, it's 45, so same thing. Put these two tens down for a 20. And then planner stuff, 65. So 50 and a 10, and I'll put this down. I'm sorry, a 10 and a five, and I'll put that down for a 50. Okay, so that does it for that. So now let's add this up and that's how much cash I should have to go to the bank. So 2885 plus 300 plus 165 plus 500. So I'm looking for 3850. That's why I always like to start with the fives and subtract so that I should get to zero. So 10 and fives. Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So minus 160. Okay, 20s. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 380. Okay, 50s, 51, 52, 53, 54. I just realized I'm counting these 2,000 that's already in the bank, so I'm going to subtract that because I'm not going to have. So then I should have 900 and ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. All right. So this chunk of cash going back to the bank. And I'll like I said, I'll be able to pay that uh, 401k loan off. Really feels good to be able to, to do that. So all right, so next up will be my uh, May monthly budget closeout. So that will be coming at you next. All right, I hope you're all having a great week.